Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Now a couple weeks ago I made a video highlighting the best money makers from each skill. Now today I wanted to do something kind of similar. I wanted to highlight the best training method from every skill in old school RuneScape. Now these are going to be the absolute top end quickest training methods in the entire game. A lot of these are going to involve tick manipulation or other interesting mechanics that most people don't end up doing. I want to give a big shout out to Temple OSRS. There will be a link in the description for that. They have a great page on the up-to-date EHP training methods, and they got a lot of useful information from there. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, don't forget to leave it a like. Always helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much, and let's get started. Now these have simply been ordered as they appear in the skill menu. Now to begin with here, we have attack. Now attack is really interesting because the highest experience rate training method for attack is actually 325k per hour. And you can consistently get this, although it does have extremely high requirements. Now the method is called neck working, and essentially the way you get this experience rate is by using the Din's Bulwark's special attack over and over and over again. Now the ideal location is at the Greater Neck Reels in the Catacombs of Karend. Now many people may realize that you can't use the Din's Bulwark special attack over and over again, However, there is a workaround. If you have two other higher level alt accounts, you are actually able to continuously use the spec transfer spell. By having your two alt accounts run back and forth between the greater neck reels and your player owned house, you are able to continuously use the Din's Bulwark special attack, which kind of makes it a little bit like chinning because you are constantly doing AoE damage. A very interesting method, but very click intensive and a fairly high level method as well. Now next up here we have Strength, which has a very similar method to it, however a little bit better, and that is by using the Crystal Halley spec. Essentially it is the exact same idea. You have two alt accounts running back and forth between your POH and the Greater Neck Reels. You dump all of the Crystal Halley specs into the Greater Neck Reels, then you use spec transfer and repeat that over and over again. As the Crystal Halberd is a bit more effective, you can get up to 360k per hour strength experience. Pretty damn good. Now next up here we have defense, a much simpler method but still as effective. Now this is a method that I personally did and that is chinning with black chin chompas on defensive mode. Once you have 99 ranged, you are able to get up to 350k per hour defense experience, which makes this a much simpler way to get a competitive amount of combat experience. Now keep in mind, unlike the other two methods, this one is actually going to cost you a significant amount. Now obviously the price varies a lot, but this generally costs you around 6 GP per XP making it fairly affordable for a high-end method. Now next up here we have ranged. Now if you know what you're doing and you have max range, you can get up to a million experience per hour using Black Chinchampas on Maniacal Monkeys. Now this does require you to stack up the monkeys properly, and if I'm being totally honest, I never managed to get over 900k per hour. Still pretty good, but to get a rate close to a mil experience per hour, you really have to be good at this, and you really have to understand how to get the maximum amount of experience per hit. Okay, next up here we have our first viable skill, and that is Prayer. Now the method is pretty simple. It is simply running superior dragon bones to a gilded altar. This is by far the quickest prayer training method in the entire game and can get you rates up to 1.6 mil per hour. That said, it's really gonna cost you at a GP per XP of around 18.5, which means you're gonna be burning nearly 30 mil an hour doing this method. Unlike some of these other methods, you can do it at pretty much max efficiency at level 70, which means you can start blasting through those mid-levels very quickly. Now next up here we have Magic, a very similar method to chinning the Maniacal Monkeys. This time we're just going to be Ice Barraging. Now for Magic, the experience rate caps out much lower than ranged, however the cost is also a bit lower as well. Now assuming that you have a maxed mage setup for equipment and have at least 94 magic, you should be able to get up to 400k per hour. Although keeping in mind this is at maximum efficiency, you're definitely not going to get this if you AFK at the monkeys. Now compared to other methods on this list, this will actually be fairly cost effective at only around 4.5 GP per XP, which is pretty affordable considering. Now next up here we have the most expensive method on this list, and uh, some people may be surprised to hear that that is runecrafting. Now runecrafting isn't generally considered to cost money, actually normally it would make you money, however to get the highest possible experience rates you will need access to essence runners. After checking out some discords, I would say the price falls somewhere between 5 and 10 mil per hour, depending on how good you are. 
Now with two runners and an alt account, you can get up to 160k per hour at Lavaroons, but that is going to cost you dearly. If you pay your runners each about 7.5 mil per hour, that is a 15 mil spend, which means that is going to break down to around 90 GP per XP, which is extremely expensive. And only the richest people in RuneScape can ever really afford something like this. If one wanted to do this all the way to 99, it would cost over a billion GP to do it. Granted, it would be like three or four times quicker, so I guess for some people that might be worth it. Now next up here we have Construction. Construction is definitely not nearly as expensive as that, but it still ranks among some of the more expensive viable skills in the game. Now the quickest training method currently for Construction is either making mahogany tables or gnome benches. If you are doing mahogany tables, the experience rate usually caps out somewhere around 900k per hour, although it is possible to get a bit above that. Now I've heard gnome benches can get you a bit more experience per hour, but I haven't really seen much proof of this, so we're just going to continue on with the tried and true mahogany table. Now the GP per XP is pretty consistently around 15. It was when I did it last and still appears to be. And unlike most other methods, you can start doing this right from level 52, which is a fairly low level to unlock the best training method in the game. Now next up here we have Agility, which is the slowest method in the entire game. Now when you take into account Tick Manipulation, that bumps up any of the other contenders above the Agility Experience Rate. But unfortunately for Agility, the quickest training method in the game right now is the Hallowed Sepulchre, which generally gives you around 85k per hour. Now I know you can get more than that. Pre-nerf, I did see people get up to 100k per hour, but I am not sure how attainable that is now. Now the GP per XP is pretty good actually, positive 30 GP per XP. However, to unlock this method, you will need level 92 agility, uh, so it's fairly high level. Now next up here we have Herblore. Now the best method in the game is pretty simple, and unlocks at level 81. Now that is making Saradoman brews, and if you are tick perfect, you can get up to 450k per hour making them. A fairly simple method to most of these on the list. Doesn't require anything else special, just you're making Saradoman brews. Now the cost right now is around 12 GP per XP, but you can get rates up to 450k per hour, which is pretty quick. Now next up here we have Thieving. Now the best Thieving method is unlocked at level 91, and that is Pyramid Plunder. Now while you can do Pyramid Plunder at lower levels, you aren't going to get nearly this good of experience rate. And if you're doing it efficiently, you can get up to 280k per hour Thieving experience, while also being profitable. I put the GP per XP at somewhere between 1 and 2. It's extremely dependent on if you get lucky getting the Pharaoh Scepter drop. As it's 1 in 1000, it's hard to give a profit per hour because going to 99, some people may only get a couple of these. Uh, so it will vary quite a lot based on your luck. Now next up here we have crafting. I think some people will be a little shocked to know that the best crafting training method right now that is semi-viable is around 2.5 million experience per hour. Now that is creating enhanced crystal keys, and it is very expensive. That said though, it's not as expensive as runecrafting. Now this method has been in the game since Song of the Elves, however, not until recently has it become in the realm of cost effective. Currently it's around 60 GP per XP. Now the method is very simple, essentially you acquire a ton of crystal shards. You can get these in bulk for around 15k per shard by exchanging crystal armor seeds, enhanced teleport crystals, or crystal tool seeds. Now for every key you combine, you get 500 smithing and crafting experience. And a YouTuber by the name of Becht did a video recently, I'll leave a link in the description for that. A really cool video where he was getting up to 2.5 million experience in both skills. You only need level 80 to do this as well, which means you can get the bulk of your experience doing it this way. A very expensive method, but recently it's gotten cheap enough, I think, to become viable. Now next up here we have the quickest training method in the game, and that is Fletching. Now Fletching has held the title of having the quickest training method for a while now, and that is crafting dragon darts. Now the reason that this is so good is because there's no delay when you make darts. Now essentially the training method is only limited by how quickly you can click back and forth. Now because of that, the high end experience rates can get very high. The theoretical maximum experience rate for dragon dart is actually up to 16 million experience per hour but that's not really attainable. A more reasonable experience rate is actually 4 million experience per hour, which is still really good. The GP per XP is actually not bad for such a high-end training method. Only 17 GP per XP, however you can't do it to level 95, uh, so you'll only be able to do it for a couple hours before you max. 
Now next to here we have Slayer. Now Slayer is also one of the slowest skills in the entire game, however with the use of alt accounts you are able to get up to 100k per hour if you have your block list set correctly and again are using alt accounts. Okay next up here we have Hunter. Now, the best experience training method for Hunter is hunting Black Chinchampas. The maximum theoretical experience rate is 250k per hour if you are left uninterrupted. Now that is not terribly likely but if you get lucky you can get up to 250k per hour. Now another training method on the slow end here is mining. Now the quickest mining training method in the game is by using tick manipulation and that is 3 ticking granite. If you have level 99 mining you can get up to 120k per hour doing this but it's going to require a lot of focus. There is no GP cost to doing this however it will cost you some real life medical bills when you have tendonitis down the road. Now next up here we have smithing. Now again the quickest method in the game is around 2.5 mil experience per hour and that is once again creating enhanced crystal keys. Again a GP per XP of 61 which is really expensive especially when you compare it to the next best method which is crafting gold bars. Now next up here we have fishing. Now until recently I didn't know about this method but the quickest training method for fishing is two ticking swordfish. Doing this method you can get up to 135k per hour fishing experience but you won't really hit those rates till level 99. Now this even hits higher experience rates than tick manipulation at barbarian fishing however a lot of people still prefer it as you don't get the agility and strength experience by two ticking swordfish. Now next up here we have cooking. Now cooking is another profitable skill even using the quickest training method in the game which is one ticking carambuans. This requires a lot of clicking but you can get upwards of 950k an hour doing this. If you don't miss any ticks that is the highest possible experience rate and you're also going to profit around 0.8 GP per XP which isn't bad. To get this rate you will need at least level 80 cooking as before that level you will burn some of them which means your experience rate will be lower. Now next up here we have fire making. Now the highest possible experience rate for fire making is by burning redwood logs. A very simple method and will only cost you about 0.9 GP per XP. Burning redwood logs can give you up to 530k per hour and it's possible to get these experience rates once you're into the level 90s. Our second last skill is wood cutting. Now wood cutting is pretty slow however when you use tick manipulation it bumps the experience rate up a lot. If you are 1.5 ticking teak logs you can get up to 200k per hour again if you know what you're doing but it will not cost you anything per hour. And the final training method is farming. Now this one's a little bit hard to visualize as you don't really do this for an hour at a time. However if you are doing efficient tree runs you can get up to 1.9 million experience per hour on average. So it's a really quick skill and compared to any of these other ones very cost effective for the experience rate you are getting. Now the GP per XP on this thing has fallen a lot recently as seeds have fallen in value in general. When I did it I was getting probably 5 or 6 GP per XP. I'm just ballparking it at 4 GP per XP, but the prices are changing so much it's hard to say for sure. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Now before I go here, I want to give a massive thank you to Brad Sings who just subscribed in my Dragon tier of YouTube membership. Thank you so much man, it means a lot. I'm so shocked that even multiple people did that. It was meant to just be a flex tier. They're joining Tizdok Bunny, Revolver Ocelot, and Kush Patel. But also another massive thank you to Heathenlock Games, Base Titch, and double talk. Thank you for making the dream possible guys, I really appreciate it. If any of you are looking for another way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. You can be immortalized in any of my videos, get a custom discord role, and have access to my video schedule. Anyway, thanks